Hello out there, fifth graders. Today we are talking about adding numbers with decimals. So on the page that you have, there's an example up above where we're adding 14 and 9 tenths plus 9 and 25 hundredths plus 21 and 72 thousandths. So as you can tell, all of these numbers end in different decimal places. So we got tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So the problem is when you try to add them, they don't really line up. So what you could do, there's two ways to do this. You could stack all of your numbers. I would start with the biggest number and then go down in value. And notice how they don't line up. I've got my numbers over here, I've got tens with tens, ones with ones. All the decimals are in line. So you would want to line them up according to the decimal point. Then we've got tenths, but then over here there's no hundredths and there's no thousandths. Well, you can fix that by just adding in zeros. And then down here we have tenths and hundredths, but no thousandths. So now you just put in a zero. So now all of your numbers go out to the same decimal place. All of your decimal points are in line. This is just like regular addition where all your place values that are similar are in line with each other. So now you can start adding by beginning in the lowest place value, which is our thousandths. 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 7 plus 0 is 7 plus 5 is um, 12, right? So you put down your 2, carry your 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Put down your 2. Regroup your 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 4 is 6. Plus 9 is 15. Carrier 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. And now you would put your decimal in in line where it is up above. It's still in the same order as the other decimals that are there. So our answer is 45 and 222. Thousands. Now another way to do that if you don't want to stack all of your numbers could be to take two at a time. So I took the two biggest numbers and I stacked them. We got tens and tens, ones and ones, decimals are in line, tenths and tenths, and then over here we would fill in those zeros to make those go out to the same place. And now you can just add two of them. So two plus zero is two. 7 plus 0 is 7, 0 plus 9 is 9, 1 plus 4 is 5, and 2 plus 1 is 3. We put our decimal in line with the others, and now I've still got one more number to add. So i got to do my 9 and 25 hundredths. We're going to add a 0 so that it goes all the way out and lines up with what's there. So now you should have something that looks like that. And then again, start adding. 2 plus 0 is 2. 7 plus 5 is 12. Regroup your 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. Regroup your 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. Plus 9 is 15. Regroup your 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. And then your decimal is in line with all those other decimals. So our answer again is 45 and 222,000. So now let's try one more example from your problems down below, and that would be... So the next problem you have is 32 and 1 tenth plus 18 and 79 hundredths. Again, we're going to stack them vertically. So we've got our 32 and 1 tenth. And then I'm lining up tens places, ones places, the decimals, and the tenths. But then our number up here stops at the tenths, doesn't go out to the hundredths. So we would just fill in a zero. So now they both go out to the same place value. And then just add as normal. Zero plus nine is nine. One plus seven is eight. Two plus eight is ten. Put down my one, regroup or put down my zero, regroup my one. One plus three is four. Four plus one is five. And then our decimal stays in line with the others. So our answer would be 50 
and 89 hundredths. So using the notes up above and the examples that we've done, um, you can practice the rest of the problems on the page. And good luck, work hard, do your best. Just like regular edition, except you've got some decimals. So remember, line up the decimal points and then fill in zeros where needed so that your numbers go out to the same place. All right, good luck, work hard, miss you, bye-bye.